Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Berry Views today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg Spear Use Today. <clears throat> I do appreciate you stopping by. Guys, we're going to do another one of these Lambics. I've had this one forever, guys. Uh, eight to ten years. It doesn't have a year or vintage or anything like I can see on the on the label here. They may be dating them now. And this one uh, I've had for a long time. Uh, this is their Pum, Pummy or Pum, uh, which is an Apple Lambic. Uh, they're saying this is a 4%, but not knowing what year of vintage it is, and that sometimes can change or vary. Uh, Untapped has it at 12 IBUs. Uh, says here, making apple beer goes back to ancestral tradition. The Celts are drinking in abundance during their harvest festivals. All we have done is extend the pleasure of the present day by adding the juice of several varieties of apples to our delicious lambic. The tasting experience, <clears throat> which is quite exceptional, combines the sweetness of cider with the sourness characteristics of a lambic. The Americans are crazy about it, which is why they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <clears throat> so, uh, not knowing uh, uh, the vintage, uh, I guess we're going to have to take for the word. Uh, because it does not have any additional information as far as ABV or vintage on the label here, guys. So, uh, let's see if we can get it open. On the top here, it says L-I-2-5-I-A-P and then 7188. Some, somebody may be able to decipher that. Uh, I don't know what that means. And I did not try to research it to find out. So, it is what it is. And uh, when we did the last one, I realized there was a cork under the cap. So uh, hopefully today I am prepared. I'm not going to use that opener because it doesn't fit on these big wide mouth caps. So we just got a plain Jane one here to get the cap off. And that worked exceptionally well. We're not fighting it. And I've got my uh, little wine opener here. So let's see if we can get it into the top here and get this cork out. So bear with me while we work this device in. All right. That one's in there tight. Needs a little WD-40. What do you think? It is out. All right, guys. I can smell the apples from here. Uh, and I'm sure, just like the other one, it's probably got a lot of junk set, settled into the bottom of it. So we're going to pour it fairly gentle here. So we can leave a lot of that in the bottom if we can. And for these low ABV, I see some trying to come out. So we might get a little bit of those particulates in there in the pour here. Strong apple notes. I'm really getting big strong notes of apple. And we're going to leave the last little swig in there. A nice amber color. Not much of a head with that easy gentle pour. Good looking beer, and if you call it 4% of a beer, <laughs> a little stronger than apple juice. Uh, so let's get it to the nose. Big time apples, guys. I mean, it's exactly just like the peach that we had the other day. This smells just like apple juice. Not getting any alcohol on the nose, just big, strong apple notes. Let's dive in. Cheers. slight hint of some tartness in there. It's not sour to me or exceptionally tart. 
very crisp, very clean, very easy drinking. Just like the peach. Uh, tastes like apple juice. Tastes exactly like apple juice, as a matter of fact. So, uh, not detecting any alcohol taste whatsoever. Being, if this is correct, 4% for this edition. Not knowing what that is. Uh, so, smells like apple juice, guys. Seems to be very tasty and seems to have sold very well, guys. So, uh, not something I would probably purchase uh, again now, but this is brewed uh, with barley, unmalted wheat, wild yeast. After spontaneous fermentation, apples are added, creating a secondary fermentation and yielding a beer of exceptional flavor and complexity, according to what the label says. I agree. Tastes very apple-y. So, let me step on it, and I'll come back and give it a grade. All right, guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left here. Like I said earlier, uh, very tasty apple juice with just a little bit of alcohol in it. Uh, sell it very well, guys. Uh, it's a very pleasant, good pool beer, good beach beer. Uh, if you wanted to session some of these uh, with uh, what they're telling me here, 4%, uh, you could have definitely have several of them and, and not be too inebriated, like not like you're drinking an eight, nine, ten percenter, uh, and very pleasant. I mean, it tastes like a glass of apple juice. It really does. These these ones from uh, uh, Lindemann's uh, seem to be very, very well made. Uh, can't take that away. And this beer being a four percent and at eight to ten years old, it has sold exceptionally well. And like I told you before, there is some uh, sediment from the age of the beer setting that long. Uh, uh, but it has been in the fridge the whole time that I have had it. So I don't know if any additional fermentation has taken place uh, since it's been in the fridge the whole time. So with that being said, uh, let's do the final chug here, guys. Very pleasant, well-made beer. And it doesn't seem to be exceptionally overly tart or sour. Uh, very pleasant. Cheers. The other half loved it too. It's, uh, it's a great tasting beer. It really is. Uh, especially to you uh, guys and gals that like these fruitier beers. Very, very tasty. No doubt. Guys, with them not putting the ABV or the vintage on it, uh, I'm going to give it a minus 90 for me. Uh, I would probably give it a better grade if they put those bits of information on it somewhere. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 84 in a good range. I think it's better than 84, guys. It's a very, very pleasant beer to drink. And it sells very, very well. Uh, and over to Untapped, they have it at 3.48. So I'm definitely giving better numbers than both of those uh, sites are. So, uh, well made. Uh, very enjoyable. So, if you've had the apple or the palm, P-O-M-M-E, Lambic, uh, from uh, Lindemann's, uh, let me know what you think. Let me meet again. Let's go see what's in the fridge.